Hey guys, welcome back. I, uh, well, here in northern Nevada, it froze. So, summer garden is done. It has died. <laughs> so this is the old garden. If you guys have been following my, um, my garden tours, you know what's going on. But, uh, every year at the end of the season, I let the chickens come in here and do my bidding. <laughs> So the chickens are in here tearing stuff up, moving stuff around, pooping everywhere, fertilizing for me. They are enjoying all of the worms that I've been finding them dig up, so that's cool. And uh, they come in through that little portal right there. And then if I leave, I'll put them back in. But as you can see, there's not much left. My um, artichokes didn't sprout this year, but they're still green, so I mean the chickens can eat those down. I don't care. Um, I do have brassicas, and if you look, I have chicken wire to keep the chickens to leave my peas and my brassicas alone. And then I have some dinosaur kale over here, and uh, I don't want them in that either, so there's rabbit wire protecting that as well. And then uh, my peas. There's my peas. And then, of course, random stuff to cover the other ones. And then over here, <laughs> I was kind of surprised to find that this stuff had still survived. I had plastic over this, and I had it clipped onto the wire. And uh, there's still quite a bit of tomatoes here, so if the chickens ever find their way over here, they'll be happy. And then, oddly enough, my watermelon, this little watermelon right there, survived. So I came through here, grabbed the tags, and I put them in a cup with a couple of the tomatoes that were up there. I'm going to go do that out in the, um, the hoop house, too. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Ladies are doing my bidding. This is the first time those two, Buffy and Willow and Cordelia, have been out here. They didn't know how to get out here. I had to go out and go in there and chase them in here. So... They get to hang out in here. It's all pretty secured. I still don't like leaving them out here if I'm not out here, though. But uh, hopefully I get some brassicas, because I have not had success with brassicas in the past. Now that I know that they are a cool weather crop, that is helpful. So, be right back. So this is what I've done for seed saving. We're using my red Solo cups that I planted in. And uh, stuck the tag in there. Some sunflowers. Sorry guys, my allergies are out of control and uh, I had to sneeze. <laughs> um, these ones, now that the fall garden's about ready, I'm gonna go stick these ones that survived in the ground. And then over here in the greenhouse, um, I had brought over some of my pepper plants. I just pulled them up because they didn't get very far before the freeze came. Um, strawberries are still going. Potatoes are still going. Oh, look, I have ripe strawberries right there. I brought my herbs in here. Oh, look, that's what happens to basil when it gets too cold. So, um, we got our elderberries in cups. Yes, I recycle big cups. And we got a lot of cottage cheese for my husband's lunches. So, um, drilled some holes and now we have big pots. Um, more of the herbs that have survived. Although the basil is not happy. Some of it's not. I am looking forward to having an herb garden next year in which my thyme, my um, rosemary, and my lavender is going to go in. That should be fun. And this poor thing needs to be dumped and put new dirt in there because I think it's three-year-old dirt, so it's not... There's no nutrients, nothing's growing right. Make sure you have good dirt. Here's another example of bad dirt. This should not take the entire summer for carrots to, to give me carrots. <laughs> um, this is uh, radishes, it's all roots is what it is. It's radishes, beets, and carrots. This is gonna be garlic. I gotta go get my garlic bulbs and they're going in today. I pre-watered so that the, the dirt was nice and saturated, and um, I'll mulch the top of it and 
keep it alive and then I'll be able to harvest it around June because I was surprised to learn that bulb stuff takes quite a while. So this is the this year's expansion. As you can see, everything froze. I gave up on trying to cover it. It's not set up to be covered. So um, I think this year, this next year, um, if I can't plant it early, or maybe it'll be brassicas, I don't know. But uh, unless it grows super fast, this side isn't going to work very well. At least not for our obnoxious weather. And now I will take you into the hoop house, which still has a few things alive and a lot more dead, which is depressing because if you watch my earlier videos, it was, it was lovely and amazing and my favorite place to be. And, uh, and actually side note, if this gives me seeds, I'm going to be so happy because it's a weed. It came out of the dirt and it, I think it's one of those, um, Titan, um, sunflowers. Which, if it is, then I have seeds for it. And I can grow my own. Okay, hold on. Well, here it is, guys. The depressing thing that now exists. Where it used to be amazing and warm and green and growing. Is now gone. Oh. Look at that little bastard. See him? He's gonna die. Right there. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, okay. So this was alive a couple days ago, but we got down into the 20s. So, uh, oh, I got squash bugs so bad. I gotta come out here with a pair of gloves and squeeze every one of them. So, anyways, this is what's left. Not much. It got down into the 20s. Everything that was green is no more, apparently. So I lied. Nothing in here is alive anymore. But, uh, it was a good garden. I learned some things. For example, um, less viney stuff on that trellis. And if I am going to run viney stuff, it's going to go further back. I'm not going to try to run it. If you see how this one is up here in the front, and then I had to take it all the way back. I don't need to do that. I can put other stuff in the front row and still have success. Um, sweet peppers. I need to figure out which ones actually do well here. Apparently bell peppers are not the thing to grow in Northern Nevada. Um, tomatillos. I have so much green salsa. I think I'm going to skip them next year. Um, oh. I hope I get seeds out of those. Um, I'm also not going to do this. I'm going to have absolutely nothing laying on the ground because that was obnoxious. Um, well, we got some insect activity up in here. Uh, what else? Overall, I'm happy with my tomato output. Oh, I should have come out here and grabbed those peppers the other day. See, I saw peppers and I was like, oh, they'll be okay. Oh, I got one. Nope, it froze too. It's squishy. So yeah, I'll probably come out here this week and pull all this stuff up. The chickens don't have access to this one. So maybe I'll build them a tunnel, I don't know. But uh, yeah, there it is. What was once beautiful, now dead. I still have ripening tomatoes in the house though. So my peppers overall, jalapenos and serranos did great. Um, this one pepper that starts with a D, I keep wanting to call it Django, and that's not right. It's D something. Um, it's purple and green. And that one did really well. Um, but overall, you know what I haven't checked on? You can check with me. What is it at? Oh, see, I still have some onions. But when I checked them, maybe I'd, I think I put them in too deep. Oh, hey, look, I have an onion. I stuck onions all throughout, and uh, I don't know if my companion planting was bad, or if it was because I used those little starter bulbs. I don't know what's going on. I gotta learn how to do onions. <sighs> More bean seeds. 
I'll have to see which ones of them work or dry. That'll be cool. And also beans need to go in earlier. That's another thing I learned. Beans need to go in way earlier. And since I have this, I'll be able to start them significantly earlier. And, uh, oh, my scarlet runner bean became mush. Dang it, I was waiting for one of those so I could get more seeds because I was out of seeds. Well, that's frustrating. But yeah, there's the garden, what's left of it, which is pretty much nothing, except brassicas in the old garden. So this is probably the last garden tour of the year, and uh, even though it's not really a garden tour because this is just depressing, but uh, um, yeah, um, one minute. So, also, we finally came up with a name change. So for those of you that have been offended by Boobs Vila in the past, it was actually supposed to be a play on words of, um, if you guys remember Bob Vila, who used to be a handyman back in the day. That just tells you how old I am. Um, it was supposed to be handy like Bob, but with boobs. And, uh, sorry if that offended some of you. I thought it was hilarious. I, I work blue collar. I apparently have quite the sense of humor. And uh, a lot of my friends like it too, but the name is changing probably today. Um, all the accounts are going to get changed. So welcome to Homesteading Hijinks. I initially wanted Homesteading Shenanigans, but I know a lot of people don't like to spell the word shenanigans. <laughs> and the reason I've chosen that name, or Hijinks is a synonym to uh, shenanigans, so it's easier to spell and it gets the point across. Of basically, sometimes we gotta okie rig stuff, right? Like, we gotta get creative on how we build certain things or how we put certain things together. And since this is a DIY channel and a, a, a flowering homesteading channel, meaning that as time goes on, I will be having goats hopefully in the next few months. And I will. Um, be expanding our critters, maybe to rabbits, or definitely meat chickens are on our list probably next fall. Um, so we have a lot of projects that we have planned, and uh, since this is a beginning homesteading channel, um, and a beginning homesteading homestead, uh, we have a lot to learn, and a lot to do, and I hope you'll join us. So. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for your time. And uh, have a good one.